Hi there. I'm going to try to remove the lid from this aquarium that I got from my mate for free. Because I want a fish tank, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I'm going to try and remove this. I'm going to make a video out of it because I think it would help some people with like nothing. This is basically just a knife. Some people use like some some sort of alcohol or WD-40. I probably have got the WD-40, but I'm just going to try and remove the silicon and then pry it off. Okay, so I think it's going to be hard though, because it's all one piece. Okay, uh, that was hard and I've only been doing it for about 10 seconds, so I had a little rummage around and I found a, a very old Stanley knife, so I'm going to have a go with this. Just need to force it into the groove, baby. <sighs> I think we're cutting through it pretty well. I nearly got the first bit off, I think that's a good point! Oh, yes! So I've nearly got this first bit off, but it goes all the way around. I think it's all one piece. If I can just kind of lead it off, that'd be great. I don't want it to snap though. It's leaving all the black silicon underneath, but that's okay. It's gonna go slow. I don't want to punch myself in the face or anything. Oh man, snapped. Oh well, that's a good start. I don't think I scratched the glass either, which is good. I think the glass is a little bit scratched already because it's an old tank, but that's cool. Right now I'm going to try and eat away at this bit a little bit. Good chunk to start with. <laughs> this stuff is... This stuff is tough. Not tough, this stuff. Really hard. I think the corners are stronger because they're... I don't know. Corners. But I think if you just get it off one side a lot... And it's kind of easier to lift up. So I'm just going to keep going. Just trying not to scratch the glass as well. You can kind of tell when it's ready to come off. Because you get like little tiny curlings. Can you see that? Little tiny curlings of plastic. That I'm like cutting out. So that must be the silicon is pretty much gone. So have a go. Oh man, it's so hard. Nope. I don't usually make videos like this, but I thought it would be handy. I'm struggling. So I thought someone else was probably struggling. And then my mate just messaged me how to get the silicon off like the top like that. He said white spirit. Um, so I'm not sure if I have any of that there, so that might have to be next time. You shouldn't cut towards you either. You can just slip and... Ah! This bit's prying off now, which might make it a little bit easier. Probably not. Well, I might actually. I can just start it off. There we go. Starting. There we go. Nice. Oh, so strong. Just try not to do it too fast so it snaps. Because I don't want to cut myself or have to start it again. I think I'll get to there. Snap. Have to do the other corner. Snap, and then what the last piece will just be one piece. Got that corner piece off, it came off just like I thought it would. Probably take these bottom strips off as well. So I might just leave the bottom because you're never really going to see the bottom, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be quite thick in soil or substrate, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to have to start eating away this bit again. Check back soon. Whoever invented silicon, good job. It is a beast, Mr. Silicone. It's cutting through the plastic easier than it's cutting through the silicon. Finally got this corner. It's a hard, way harder than the other corner. I've watched other videos and this looks so easy. It's not. Just don't want to snap it and start again. There we go, nice. Yeah, I got this tank for free with my friend's father-in-law, kind of. And there's a couple of filters in there, a couple of heaters. I don't know if they work, but apparently one's brand new. I've got a few pieces of wood. Like this. But it's got all these white dots all over it. I don't know what they are. My friend said it's where it dries out or something. But I don't really know. But you can just kind of like n nail it off a little bit. So, But I think you can just scrub that off. That shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, all three of me. There was a few little ornaments and stuff. But I want to go with real plants and stuff. So...
By the way, I'll edit this video so it's really, really cut down. But I've been at this for at least half an hour, which isn't crazy, but not a quick process. Maybe if I used white spirits, like my friend said, straight away, it might have been easier. This bit's finally coming off. Let's hope it doesn't snap halfway. No, oh, it's coming off really good. Now we're gonna take off these two corner bits and then try and find some white spirits or something like that to take off all the excess around the edges. And I think I'm just gonna leave the base for now. Progress update. Just started getting this corner off, which is, this was probably, mm, I was gonna say this was the hardest bit, but I don't know. I think the first bit was probably the hardest. And the bottom's gonna stay. Damn. This is actually really, really hard. There's a lot of mess. I don't know if that sound is it's scraping the glass. I hope it isn't. This tank needs a real good clean. I think it's just sand stuck in the grooves because there was a lot of sand in the lid. As long as you can get each part started, then you kind of go hard but slow and it's cool beans. I personally think that fish tanks with that big black or grey lid or whatever, they don't look very good. There we go, I've got it. Get my fingers in there and cry hard but slow. Kind of hurts me a little bit, but I'll be alright. There we go. Easy as that, eh? It only took me, I don't know, maybe an hour. So just a little recap. All I've used is an old crappy knife that I can kind of saw into the silicon a little bit if you need to. And more than anything, I use that to like pry in the gap. And the Stanley knife, I'd say that's a must. This is a, I don't know, just a mad old Stanley knife. Look at the state of it. But yeah, that's it done. Now I'm going to try and find some white spirits and see how easy it is to take this uh, silicon off. Check back if I find any. So update, I got some white spirit, I've rubbed it on. It didn't come off straight away. Then I've kind of just worked on the same bit and now I can just kind of rub it off with my nail easily. So I'm guessing it just has to soak in. So I'm just going to like rub this all around the edges, every, everywhere where the silicon. And then I'll come back in about 10 minutes and hopefully I'll be able to get it all off easily. Hopefully I'll be able to just kind of peel it off. Also, this is not the time to put fish in. Okay, I've rubbed it all over pretty vigorously. My hands are stinking of white spirit. Now I'm just gonna let it soak for about 10 minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. Sure, 10 minutes and that's starting now. Okay, see you in 10 minutes. Update o'clock. It's been 10 minutes. Let's, let's test it. I'm gonna. I'm thinking I'll do it with the back of the knife. If it comes up with, off with the back of the knife, it should come off super, super easy. Always oh, really good. It's coming off like a dream. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna work on getting all this off and it'll be clean, ready to go. So when I move in my house, I can set it all up. But unfortunately, I haven't got a date to move into my house, so you might have to wait a little while till you see a tank update but i'll do that video too okay so if this was helpful for you comment like subscribe whatever there'll be more fish tank videos more lifestyle videos more vlogging everything okay thanks for watching people see you next time okay update i've been at this for absolute hours i'm using i snapped off one of these blades so i'm using that to scrape off all the tiny tiny layer of silicon all around the edge. I'll get as clean as possible. I'll probably give it another rub down with the white spirit, let it soak overnight, and hopefully I can just kind of wipe it off in the morning, but I don't know. But yeah, this is the longest part. I'd say prying off the plastic bit was the hardest part. This is the longest part, but yeah. See you next time, people. Bye.